sugar and cancer. Uh, the people who study metabolism and cancer have indeed shown that sugar, glucose, is part of cancer cells' metabolism. It's also part of our regular cells' metabolism too. Cancer just grows faster, so it really, it really kind of um, fires up the metabolism of a cancer cell. Uh, and in a lab, if you put lots of sugar in a dish growing cancer cells, you will fire them up. They'll grow fast, all right? But that's different than in a, in a patient. So where sugar actually becomes a problem is when we have too much of it. 12-ounce can of soda has about nine teaspoons of cane sugar. So you came to my house on a hot day, and uh, the first thing I do is offer you an empty glass, and I put nine teaspoons of sugar and say, here you go, Matthew, here, drink that. Right? You're going to say, no way, man, that's disgusting. All right, But yet that's what is dissolved in a can of soda. And when they say empty calories, that means that, you know, hey, in that can of soda, there's nothing else. So that kind of sugar is different because it's added sugar, extra sugar, than sugar in a fruit. How about a mango? But a mango also has dietary fiber. It's also got carotenoids. It's got vitamin C. It's got all these other um, micronutrients. So when you're eating it, you're not you're not eating too much sugar. You're getting it along with all these other things. That's why it's not an empty calorie. And you know, you even for for uh, fruits, you don't want to be eating too many fruits. You don't want to be like obsessed with eating, you know, mangoes or yeah. or pineapple. But I would still encourage you to eat fruit because there's lots of anti-cancer properties in the dietary fiber. But do deprive yourself of that extra added sugar that's going to overwhelm your. Uh, uh, your metabolism. Stay away from cakes and candies and cookies. Stay away from sodas if you can, right? So that I would recommend people to cut down or cut out.